Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. In this video, we will learn about external body parts of a human body. So what are external body parts? The body parts that we can see from outside are called external body parts. For example, our hands, arms, legs, feet, mouth, shoulders and neck. These can be seen from outside and thus they are external body parts. But some parts are inside our body and they cannot be seen from outside. Such parts are called internal body parts. For example, the brain, lungs, heart, liver, stomach, kidney, etc. Students, if you want to learn about internal body parts in detail, then we have got a separate video for it. The link to this video is here on the top and in the description box. Now let's first talk about the first external body part which is head. Head is the topmost part of our body. Head has the brain which controls the body. Now let's see parts of head. First is forehead, eyes, nose, ears, mouth, and chin. These are parts of head. The second external body part is mouth. Students, the mouth is the beginning of the digestive system. Now what are parts of mouth? Lips, teeth, and tongue. These three are parts of our mouth. What is the function of teeth? Do you know? Yes, the teeth help to chew and grind the food into simpler particles. The mouth has salivary gland that secretes saliva which helps to soften the food and helps in further breaking down of food. So students, we should keep our mouth clean and brush our teeth daily. Now the next external body part is our neck. Students, our head and rest of the body is joined through neck. The neck also helps our head to move in different directions and see things in a better way. Now let's understand about the next external body part which is shoulder. Do you know which is the most mobile joint in our body? Yes, it is the shoulder. The shoulder is the most mobile joint in the body. The shoulder also allows the arm to move in a circular motion and to move up and away from the body. The next external body part is chest. So where is chest located? It is located on the upper portion of the trunk and it is main part of our body. Now let's see the next external body parts which are our arms and hands. We use our arms and hands to eat, paint, write, hold and lift the things. 
Now let's see different parts of arm. This is elbow. There is a wrist. The hand consists of fingers and nails. So these are parts of arms. Students, in a human body, the arms are called the upper limbs. Now let's talk about next external body parts which are legs. Our legs help us to move from one place to another. They help us to walk, run, jump, climb and kick. Let's see parts of legs. This is a thigh. Here is a knee. Then there is an ankle, foot and toes. These are parts of our legs. In the human body, the legs are known as the lower limbs. Now students, sense organs are another important set of external body part that helps us to feel and sense the things around us. Eyes, ears, nose, tongue and skin are our five sense organs. So let's understand them one by one. So first sense organ is our eyes. Eyes help to see beautiful and colorful things in the world. Eyes also help us to identify things by seeing their size, shape and color. Next sense organ is our nose. So what is the use of nose? We breathe and smell things through our nose. The air enters our body through the nose. Here in the nose, trap the foreign particles and help us to breathe the clean air. Now let's talk about the third sense organ which are our ears. Ears help us to hear different sounds around us. If your ears are working well, you hear sounds all the time. Students, we cannot switch our ears off even when we are asleep. When we really want to listen to something, we tell our brain to concentrate on that sound. Now the fourth sense organ is our tongue. The tongue helps us to taste, chew and swallow food as well as it is used for speech. The taste buds present on the tongue tells the difference between salty, sweet, bitter and sour taste. Now the last sense organ is the skin. Students, skin is the largest of all the sense organs and it helps us to feel. The sense of touch is distributed throughout the body, facilitated by our skin. Four kinds of touch sensations can be identified, which are cold, heat, contact and pain through skin. The skin also helps in the production of vitamin D in presence of sunlight.
Now let's mark all the external body parts which we have just learned. Head, hair, forehead, eyes, ears, nose, mouth, teeth, tongue, neck, then there is shoulder, chest, arms, elbow, hands, then we have fingers, stomach, legs, thighs, knees, ankles, toes and feet. So students, I am sure now you have understood all the external body parts. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.